Morning. Uh, my name is Michael Kenny. I'm a retired museum curator and uh, we're here in Minute this morning to witness the initiation of what I think will be a very interesting historical project. That is the design, shaping, production and installation of a statue to one of the great iconic figures of the War of Independence, Kevin Barry. Uh, that statue, when it's completed, will be in Kildonan Park in Finglas and hopefully facing down Barry Road. The background is simple enough. A committee was set up in 2020, the Kevin Barry Memorial Committee, a subcommittee of an earlier Lee Mellows Memorial Committee, which has done sterling work in the Finglas area and particularly in relation to the Lee Mellows Memorial Garden. The rest of the story involved discussion, canvassing and work with the local community and thankfully the local community has been overwhelmingly supportive. So we can say in real terms that this statue of Kevin Barry has been commissioned by the people of Finglas Northwest and hopefully will be enjoyed by them and appreciated by them. Uh, the other thing to remember in this is that Finglas itself is crisscrossed with roads named after people, historical figures from 1916 to 22. You have the Joseph Plunkett and Roger Casement from 1916, uh, Clone McKee and Clancy from the Bloody Sunday, and of course Kevin Barry himself. And from the Civil War period, we have Mellows and McKelvey. So those people are named in roads and streets in Finglas. And those names were assigned by the old Dublin Corporation as Finglas expanded from being a village to the busy suburb that it is today. And so the reason we're here back to Minute is because we're going to meet Brendan Walsh, the person who has been given the task of carrying out this work. And Brendan is here with us in Minute. First, maybe I'd like to maybe put a few questions to yourself, if that's all right. Just uh, yeah, Michael. what you do, where you're at. I'm just looking at your work and all around. You're a smith. You're a sculptor. I don't know if you use the word blacksmith anymore, but wherever it is, you're doing it. And you obviously have a fair variety of work. So would you like to give us a minute or two on just what 
a day in the life of Brendan Walsh would be well, work wise. Uh, for the right, the, there is a, a a certain confusion around the blacksmith nowadays, and um, it's generally people like me are generally called artist blacksmith. Now, I would have a bit of problem with that. With the word blacksmiths and blacksmiths and artists are artists, but there's art in both, and I go with it. So. Um, it turns out you, you end up with something like um, I a sculptor, I sculpt, I pour bronze, I hammer iron, and I make shapes that people want to buy, basically, you yes. know, and satisfy my own uh, need to, to, uh, to create. To create things. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just what used to be called in rural Ireland, a man who was good with his hands. Good with his hands, yeah. yeah. It, covers, yeah. it covers a multitude. Yeah, yeah that is right. Yeah. Yeah. I've been yeah. called that. That takes us, of course, naturally to the work in hand here, Kevin Barry. Um, you have been given this task, and a great, wonderful t job it is to do this work and create it and carry it out. And uh, you have obviously got got underway. So wh where are we at, or where? Are, what's the sort of well, lifespan of a job like this? It's hard to put a time on it, yeah. but there is a, there is a time. But it's difficult to put a time. Since I was commissioned it, um, I got the honour of being commissioned it, it was uh, nearly six months ago. And I could say that a day hasn't passed, but I've done something on it. So because now. it has to be finally visualised uh, in your mind before you can do it. Because if you can't see it, you can't make it. And that's true of blacksmith works, it's true of art, it's true of life. I like the term, if you can't see it, you can't, you can't see it, it, you can't do it. Um, so I went about, I haven't made a a big piece for a long time, not since seven, since 1998 that I did this this work here. Um, so that's the famous oh, Kuraha piece. Hodja Donahu, yeah, yeah. Um, who was a blacksmith in, in the, the village in, in 1798 and he was supposedly murdered by the British um, for his work. But um, I, that kind of, the, the, the reputation from him got me a shot at this one. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to my to the 1920s. And, and this and is and Kevin Barry here. Uh, well, or it's the first head I've done since. The first head of Kevin Barry. And I think it's probably the first head that I tried for a likeness with. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just, um, it's just, uh, it's a trial piece. It's a, he's had about four identities since he began. Yes. Um, and he's coming along fine. Um, he will finally, not that one, but uh, moderation of him will be going into uh, into this, which is the another stage of work. The stage of it, which um, and the, the, the secret to success in this is getting this right, because um, get your proportions right, and, and then you don't have too much worries. There, it's just hard work from there on, and you have a bit of freedom. But if you don't know what you're doing, or if you haven't got this right, you can run into trouble. So I've had a bit of time at it. I'm okay with it. Um, and there's there's a few various things in it. This is going on the height, and the height, the proportions change with height. With height, so you'll never be able to see his face like that again when he goes because up. Because he's going to be above you. So he has to be slightly higher, it made a bit higher, because when he goes up, when you're looking at it, it goes that way. Mm -hmm. So um, a few tricks. Something like that, that the layman wouldn't have thought of. It's, it's no, obvious no. to you. Well, I would have learned the hard way. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's where he's at. He's he's ready. He's almost ready to go uh, the next stage, which is clay. Clay. And uh, yeah, which uh, is just hard work. Uh, and then from clay to foundry, is it? From clay to foundry. Um, that's a huge deal. Mm. That's pouring a fatty. Large object. In the old days, uh, when there was a pouring in a foundry, a lot of people from the from uh, from the area gathered round. It was a kind of a not spiritual, almost divine, a ritual, a ritual, and very much so, yeah. And uh, that was a uh, so it's still a big deal it's still a big in day. the foundry for the pouring a full size piece because you don't know what's going to come out. And uh, when it comes out in bronze. Then the work starts as regards cleaning it, Tidy. polishing it, tweaking it, doing all sorts of things, and eventually, hopefully, we come out with a, a bronze 
Kevin Barry. Kevin if not, I'd have to leave the and country. Hopefully, we might be able to maintain the ritual with a bit of luck. Will we? Well, I would like to think so. I'd like to think that it would be carried on from Middle Ages. Yeah, or older. It goes back to the Greeks, actually. It goes back to the Greeks. We will, we'll, we'll do our best. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if there was a certain uh, otherness about it, you know, which is part of the area psychic anyway. Um, good. Well, it's, it's good to see it underway. So and we also have to look, uh, while we're here, we have to look at, well, we should look at some of your other works, because you're also an artist. So uh, if we might uh, pan across and have a look at some of your other work, if that's all right with you. Very good, it's right. good to see this happening, and it's good to see it getting underway. Thanks, Brendan. My pleasure. Uh, the next part is the other side of my soul. Hi, well, Brendan. We're back into what I would call the more genteel side of your uh, operations here. We've come from the forge into... What is, we call this the studio, I think. Studio. Uh, let's be, no, let's gallery, be right. this is the gallery. gallery, studio. This is where you do your other work. Yeah. I see paintings, uh, I see bronze, I see various sort of work. So how would you define this side of the, this side of the house? The other side of my soul. It's the other, the <laughs> other side of your soul. Uh, well, um, it's, a, it's another way of, of, of expressing something. Yes. And uh, it, it ought to, for instance, uh, at late in life I went back to college mm -hmm. and, uh, and I sketched Minute. Looks like Minute Castle. You know, it is and it brings castle. in the old castle, I know which it. I walked by for for years. Um, so it, it's a memory of that. This is a, this for instance is a, a scene down by the Liffey where I live uh, for, for some summers ago. And do I see Carton? Is that Castle Town House. Castle Town House. Castle Town House. Um, so all that is, it's history, basically, yeah. a lot, most of that. It's social yeah. history in its own way. All, all history all, is social history, but uh, as you put it here, uh, it, it's interesting, it's colourful, and it's so different from your, 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 your hot anvil work on the other side of the house. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, and going back, just while we're at it, going back to Kevin Barry, uh, I forgot to mention that Kevin Barry is also coming with a, a wolfhound. In, in, in that right. statue comes yeah. with Kevin Barry That's and right. a wolfhound and yeah. a slither, and it just turns out you are holding a slither here. Yeah, in a working class That's hand. A, in a, a very working class hand. That's yeah. a nice it's solid own. bronze bit. Is, yeah. is that your? That's it's my own. Yeah, it's your own hand. It's my own. That's yeah. about as personal as it can get. Yeah, it is. Yeah, lovely yeah. piece of work. Um, the the other work is the lighter work, the finer work. Um, for instance, this little piece here, I can get it over here. Uh, it, um, it's an attempt to tie together the blacksmith and the, uh, I can't, can't remember the, the, the name of it, the collar of gold. The collar of gold. The collar of gold, which when Maliki wore the collar of gold. gold, which he won from his proud invader. Indeed. Uh, that takes me back to my native county of Westmead, actually. Uh, and. Uh, that ties the two, and it also has, it's like a black, it's like a, a horseshoe, in a way it's like a horseshoe, so it ties the two together. Ties the two stories. In this certain little piece, yeah, that's what that means to me. The, the rest is sort of Celtic and, that's a Celtic, uh, Celtic. Celtic ornamentation, Celtic inspiration at any rate. Uh, what a shield, probably a, a war shield. Um, very, very, uh, it's a lot of it is either Celtic or um, or uh, Yeats. Yeats. Yes. Yeats's poetry. I, I was interested in. Well, that's um, again that's Celtic revival in, Celtic in, in revival. some of its forms. Correct. Yeah. So you're you're, you're you're getting the Celtic second time round. You'll see the Swan in it in the sketching quite a bit, and you see it there, and you see it in, in the jewellery. It seems to pop up, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I make them as I as I think them. You make them as you think. Yeah. This is a. This is what we are. This is a little teardrop, which means happiness and, and joy. Lovely work. And there's one other piece I would like to compliment because I actually like it the most, and that's the Celtic dog. Where have I left him? Here he is. Here, yeah. I like the Celtic dog because he is original. He is mine. Yes. Uh, after that, it's it is what it is. It is what it is. And then, well, uh, having looked at it, there are several sides to your soul. 
complicated. <laughs> be me, yeah. Uh, but I think it's true of everyone. Good. Well, that that shows another side of your work, and we've come uh, oh, all the way from Celtic to Neo Celtic to Kevin Barry and everything in between. So, well done, and it's a lovely it's a it's a lovely way to live your life. Thank you very much, Michael. Thanks, Thank Brendan. Okay, Brendan, that's us for today. You're going back to work. Thanks very much, Michael. And, uh, yeah. Good, good to see it happening, and uh, we'll see you in Figlas. Oh, Thanks, God. As I said, take it away. Thank you very much. Thanks, Brendan. Thanks a lot, Michael. All the best. That's it for today. That's the start of our project. And uh, the next phase, uh, our committee, the Lee Meadows Memorial Committee, uh, is getting involved in moving this entire enterprise from Maynooth to Finglas, because the next phase of the work will be in Finglas at a premises that the committee has um, managed to get there. And just while we're on the subject, I would like to thank the Musgrave Group companies and SuperValue in Finglas for making your premises available to us. So our next stop is Finglas and we'll see you there in the next week or 10 days, whenever, and the work will progress from there. And uh, also, maybe I could turn this little project from Kildare to Kildon. And well done to everyone involved in it. Thank you. Thank you.